give me the camera that's good with everything com included. I don't I don't want to struggle. I just want to get to the point. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I post hair videos, life advice videos, and vlogs. And today, we're gonna talk about what you need to get into your content creation era. So these are six things I feel like would be beneficial to start content. Please know ahead of time, one, I love a good bargain, so these are not gonna be too pricey. Two, to get into your content creation era, you're gonna need to spend some money. So make sure you have money on the side. And three, four, where I'm going to list out everything, everything I use. And we're going to link all that shit down below. You can go buy what you need. And I'm going to tell you what the camera I'm using right now. I'm going to tell you what lighting is on. Like, I'm going to tell you everything I'm about to put you on. So if this is something you're excited to watch, please make sure to like, subscribe, share. And let's get into it. So I got my, my little... I'm a notebook because we I have to write everything down. So let's talk about cameras first, okay? So what I'm filming on, and listen, I gotta refer to my notes because you're lying if you say that you memorize what everything you use is called. So for the camera that I'm filming on right now, this is the, let me move to the side so we can uh, put some stuff on the screen here. So what I'm filming on right now is the Lumix Panasonic G7. I've had this camera for literally seven years. She is such a low-key find i feel like i feel like nobody knows about this so please don't go blow this camera up and make it 2k okay yeah, i feel like this is a hidden gem and i'm using the lens it literally comes with and i feel like the lens is really good so this is the the lens is a 14 14-42 millimeter lens listen when i'm looking for lenses i just google what the girls that i like to watch use and I write down what the numbers are, the millimeters, and then I try to find something affordable. Because to be honest, the YouTube girlies, the really high high ones up there, they're using expensive shit. And that makes sense because they're investing in their brand. But for me, you know, so I have this is the base lens. And also, I find that um, I bought this with a bundle pack. So what is a camera bundle pack? So that means the camera's going to come with the battery, the charger. A second battery pack maybe an SD card in there the lens and maybe a tripod like it's, it's really good stuff in a bundle for a really good price so I really suggest if you're gonna get into your content creation era find a camera you like and try to find a bundle for it I think you can find a good camera for at least six hundred to seven hundred dollars I don't feel like you need to start off with a thousand dollar camera I don't think it's necessary but eventually I want to upgrade but instead I just bought a different lens to upgrade the quality and I ended up getting a vlog camera which is the DJI Pocket 2. Now DJI Pocket 2 was like a very hidden gem and she slowly started to blow up and DJI Pocket 2 was a camera like that was just out there for a while and DJI was like oh like we're not we're, we're really in no rush to make the DJI 3 we don't even know if we're gonna do that girl five months after i buy my camera they come out with the three after years of not having anything and i thought that well i feel like the three or the two is so good stand alone that i was like it's really hard to make this better but they did so right now i have the dj pocket 2 i got the creator pack i do want to upgrade to the three i'm not gonna lie She's great, but she's not the best in low light, so keep that in mind if you're going to get the two instead. But yeah, I all of my vlogs have been on that camera. I've had a lot of fun. I just noticed that I film in a lot of low light, so I don't know if we're really compatible. And sometimes that's what you have to consider too when buying content creation tech is what's your stationary what is your setting most of the time do you have storage space things like that so yeah so when i travel i do bring my digital camera and sometimes that does make it to my thumbnails or my social media posts like you know things like that so i use the nikon cool pics s4 100 this is a camera that i grew up with like my mom had one so i have really great memory knock on wood i hope it doesn't go bad but I have really great memory, so I know 
that that's something she used to use all the time i remember the quality i love that camera got it still love it really great camera uh and not expensive so find a good used one make sure they're not scamming you and get one of those too i feel like a digital camera is just great to have and i really enjoy it on to tripods tripods i have a lot of them okay i'm not gonna lie maybe i have too many i make sure to have a camera tripod and an iphone tripod so what that means is i make tiktok videos i like to do you know selfies and shit like that so i will use my tripod for my phone and then i have a tripod for my camera and then i also have a tripod for my lighting okay some people are much much more advanced than me and they have tripods that like hold up to three items at a time i don't trust that maybe when i have more space i can invest into that but for now mm -mm. <laughs> my camera tripods are the newer 75 inch so they're pretty heavy duty in my opinion cool. they're cool i really like them and then the phone ones are the autumn tech um i have the selfie stick one and then the 51 inch one i don't think you need both you get the point one is very big and tall and the other one is very like compatible small you know gets gets you from a to b i like to a lot of the shower videos i do sometimes like for hair content will be with the 51 inch like if it's on my phone because i have more range so just to give you an idea of what what that's used for okay so when it comes to lighting i told you already i did need to get a separate tripod for my lighting but i love lighting like i feel like lighting really makes or breaks your content i will be fair with you today the lighting is not giving i really don't know what's going on um i use a combination of natural lighting and added on lighting for the life of me i cannot get this lighting to work the way that i wanted it to we're not gonna lose our minds over it so it's whatever but i do have great lighting my friends really compliment me on my lighting and i feel like this lighting is very inexpensive what i use is the sorry if i pronounced this wrong young okay y-o-n-g n-u-o y-n 300 <laughs> light um I, I i own two of them so a lot of my sit down videos where it's like i have a mic and everything is two lights on this is one and the reason i only have one on is because one i'm being lazy and it's 6 a.m but two i just feel like certain moments call for it and certain moments don't but yeah i feel like this light is, is doing me good but I, it's not my favorite lighting today but that's whatever like not every content post video anything that you make is going to be perfect every single time but you can get as close as possible right so yeah so that's what i use for lighting and then i also use the um this is one that i bought but i haven't really used it that much because my plan was to use it like in low light settings y'all this light is bright as fuck like it's you guys know the the popular um iphone one right now where you clip it on the phone and that one i have like three of those don't ask me why but the first one the seven yak guys the lightest setting like the lowest setting on that whoa whoa it's aggressive so um yeah keep that in mind but she's much smaller than the young i uh, know no, oh. <laughs> but because i have my mic on that you know what i mean so and as i'm talking to you guys i realize i'm forgetting some stuff so let's talk about mics right so my mic i had for my sit down videos i had the blue sherpa x i believe it's called i gave that one to my boyfriend for his gaming i don't really do sit down videos like that anymore and i also upgraded my camera any my mic camera anyway so i don't feel like i need that setup anymore it was getting very podcasty but like we've graduated from that phase in our life for now i just want to bring those videos back but not yet for the mic on the camera i use the rode x mini i think it's called um bear with me but you know i'm putting on a screen with the name but yeah i use that for mics because i feel like you know if you're going down that route it's important i will say the great news is that that the panasonic is very good with audio like you cannot hear the lens on it now you get a lens there's certain lenses that make louder noises than others so the 14 by what is it 14 42 she is very silent the other ones you can hear it focus keep that in mind and apparently i haven't had this experience yet but there's cameras that like have no mic or what the fuck i don't listen for me i was like give me the camera that's good with everything com 
it included i don't i don't want to struggle i just want to get to the point my car mounts okay so i'm a big fan of vlogs and videos where people are talking in their car and they're you know having a moment um i love that it's very fun and the car is my most intimate place like i love talking in there and filming so anyways i will not lie to you i have had the hardest time trying to find a compatible car mount with my cameras the lumix is very fucking big and i feel like i don't know if i've had it's not really that big but i feel like i've had car dashes where it's hard to like squeeze that camera in there and then i was like okay well the dj will solve that no bitch <laughs> the dj was way too tall so that was like it was always like a um windshield issue so with that being said this is the car mount that i sold on it's like a suction cup one she worked because i had a nissan xterra and it was like there was a little pocket space so i could just put it in there but boy if you look at my vlogs you can see she was like moving everywhere so it was it's just it hasn't been the best for me however i feel like that worked the best of everything that i've tried so i did that and then i also got a it's a six pack but i got threaded tripod screw adapters so i would just um, screw one in put my dji in there and then this camera would have worked right on that too so i found that that was like the most realistic that i could do with the car mount situation sd cards so with sd cards okay I'm going to tell you right now, I feel like nobody knows this or people just like skip over this. When you're getting SD cards, you need to make sure it's compatible with your camera or you're going to be fucking pissed off and have issues. I'm letting you know right now. Don't tell them, don't say I didn't warn you. You can't just get whatever SD card for whatever because one, you can damage the camera. You could, the com shit is not compatible so you're not, you're filming and nothing is saving. It's a whole thing. What I know is for the DJI, they said I specifically need to get the Samsung EVO. So that's what they said. So I got that. And there was a vlog I had where I was like really pissed off because I accidentally bought a fake one. So please keep in mind that they make fake SD cards just to take your fucking money. It's ridiculous and it's it's pathetic that people do that but whatever this is not a rant video yeah, for the samsung for this um yeah for the Sam samsung evo i well i use that on the dji i had no trouble none whatsoever whoever told me to buy that thank you Mwah. on reddit you are just so grateful you're i'm so thankful for you like you're the best and then for this camera i've had a little bit of leeway but there have been sd cards that don't work so i i feel like all in all get the samsung SD cards. I'm going to put the specific brands on here because Samsung has different SD cards, but these two have really worked very well for me. And of course, I always get the 200 plus gigabytes because it just makes sense, especially if you're filming with 4K. Oh guys, I'm sorry. My nose is so itchy today. Sorry, my allergies are like ugh, messing with me. When you're shooting on in 4K, you need, you need the storage space, okay? So don't, don't cheap out on that. And this shoots 4K. The DJI shoots 4K. And then speaking of 4K and the space, let's talk about terabytes and um, external storage. But external, so that we're, we're passing the six things, but that's okay. But external storage, guys. So I was somebody that was like, one terabyte is all I need. I started with the Lacey. Didn't like her. Did not like Lacey. She's cute. The packaging is very cute. It's a very cute little orange thing. But the problem with that is that the wire really sucks and they get faulty over time and that's the thing with editing on like on a laptop too is like you the more you move the wires and shit like things start to break and that's really annoying for me um if you watch some of your favorite content creators they have made like a pocket for their laptop to slide the external hard drive into that do what you gotta do to make it work but basically with that being said is i use a mac desktop i think it's a mac mini i'm saying think because of my boyfriend gifted it to me but for that since it's like a computer sit down computer i don't have to worry about that i can leave my external hard drive in one place and edit as i go so yes at first i started with the lacy one terabyte the lacy was not my favorite the other one that i really like and i'm trying to think off the top of my head because i did not write it down um i think one is called x1 and my boyfriend gave me that one and then i think i I bought two seat gate ones. I think that's what they're called. So I ended up, I went from one terabyte to two terabyte. And now I have a five terabyte sock. Be nice. Don't be fucking rude. Five terabyte. I can tell you that five terabyte, I'll give you an example. If you're doing, if you're sitting on three weekly vlogs, that's how much it can hold. So it can hold three, okay, no, it can hold two weekly vlogs. And then it can hold the space to edit the 4K footage and save it. Does that make sense? So when you're editing and you're trying to find external storage, think about 
for me. I like to take my footage out of the SD card right away because if the SD card gets damaged in any moment, you're done. But it's very likely, less likely to the external hard drive to get damaged in any way. So I like to take it out immediately, put it in there, put it away. Um, so yeah, just kind of like make your schedule and make it work in your head. But I find that of all of those external hard drives, the uh, 5 terabyte is like my best friend. It makes me very calm because there's nothing more painful than editing a YouTube video and it says ran out of storage and you're like, okay, what now? If you're somebody that likes to add the fun, filters, a bunch of pictures, a bunch of sound effects, oh, you're going to need the storage. Yep. You're going to need it. So don't. And guess what? I got that. The 5 terabyte one, I got it for 60 fucking bucks. People spend like a bunch of money. Girl, I'll be finding the sale. What I edit on, yeah, so I edit on the Mac, like I told you, or the iPhone. Um, I use Final Cut Pro or InShot. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I did pay for Final Cut Pro when it was 300 fucking dollars, I think it was. But it's been a great investment. has not let me down. Um, I used to use iMovie, but I feel like there was just so many limitations. And, yeah, and I used to edit on my laptop, too, with no external hard drive. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Like, I made my laptop work so fucking slow, my MacBook. But I have a MacBook still. I have a MacBook Air. And I just find that those laptops, like, don't really cut it for that. So... I think a Mac is the best bet, but I know that the, you know the laptops that are very expensive from Mac, that like, those are the ones that are good for editing. I don't got that budget just yet. But one day, I'm going to save up and get one of those and upgrade. But the last thing that I will say, make sure you have a tech box, a box, a case or something, um, a pouch with all of your cables and everything in one place ready to go. I really love mine. I don't remember the name of it and I'm looking at it, but I don't want to like move and like mess up the frame. But it's a very nice box. It's very sturdy. It has individual pockets. I got like Velcro wrap to wrap the cords around and, and it's very cute and very organized. So I feel like it's very helpful and beneficial to do that. I used to just have all my shit in a bag. That's not good, okay? This is much more organized and stuff, so I'll put it on the screen which one I use. But yes, guys, this is everything you need to basically start your consecration era. And I hope this was informative. I hope this was helpful. I hope this made sense. A lot of my friends have been asking me to tell them what the fuck I'm using. Here it is, girls. Here it is. And yeah. Save up your money, invest in your craft, invest in your passion. Don't have any regrets. And of course, there's st there's stuff that might be like better than what I've mentioned. But I feel like what I've mentioned has worked just fine for me. I've had it for more than one year and everything has been perfectly fine. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And go watch all my vlogs that I talked about. All that stuff I was saying, the vlogs, the videos, the hair... Go watch all of it and you can see the technology put to use. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.